Good evening, Jordan. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Professor. Good evening, everyone. I have gathered you together tonight to give you a small lecture and inform you about a topic that concerns all of us. Have you started noticing changes in your vision while reading or working up close? Does it happen to you that while you are reading a short distance, you feel you have the need to adjust the length of your reading material so you can have a clear definition of the letters? Well, according to the National Census Bureau, there are around 135 million Americans suffering of visual changes and this number keeps increasing every day. My name is Olga Grassano and in my case, I was diagnosed with a vision problem at the age of 12. Since then, I have been experimenting with visual changes and adapting to them, to them <clears throat> pretty much every other year. Tonight, I am going to talk about presbyopia, its symptoms, signs, and the two most common and easy accessible treatment options. Now, let, <clears throat> I'm sorry, let, let's start by discussing the most important thing. What is really presbyopia? Presbyopia is an age-related vision problem that starts developing around the age of 40. In some other cases, it can start as early as 36 years old. Presbyopia will happen to everyone. Nobody can escape from it because it's part of the natural aging process. Even if you have never experienced visual issues before, you will still be affected by this condition. People who are nearsighted, like me, we will start noticing changes even when we are wearing our normal prescription. Presbyopia is caused by changes in the eye, just as I mentioned before, because of the process of getting old. Presbyopia generally is believed to stem from, from a gradual thickening and loss of flexibility of the natural lens inside your eye. These age-related changes occur within the proteins in the lens, making it harder and less elastic over time. This change also occurs in the muscle fibers surrounding the lens. With less elasticity, the eye has a harder time focusing up close. Now that we know the meaning of causes of presbyopia, let's learn how to detect it. Symptoms and signs. If a person is reading, she or he will feel the need of holding the reading material at arm's length. For example, I don't know if you guys have started already seeing yourself in this situation when you start playing with the lens. Yes, not a good thing to happen. The person who has blurry vision will read a usual length. If a person is doing other activities of close besides reading, then headaches might be present with eye strains and some fatigue as well. Now, after learning the symptoms, let's learn about the two most common and easy accessible treatment options. Presbyopia treatment options. What do we need to know if we already are prescribed eyewear users? First, if a person already has a history of visual problems, there are two types of lenses that can be used. By focus, which means two point of focus, can be easily adapted to the other prescription. The lower portion of the lens will hold a stronger near prescription for close up, for work up close, I'm sorry. Another option is progressive additional lenses are similar to bifocals, but they offer a more gradual transition between the two prescriptions with no visible lines between them. If the person has no history of visual problems, then or the counter reading glasses can be used. This type of eyewear can be found pretty much at every pharmacy around the level of presbyopia is measured by a plus sign and it's up to each individual to find the one that adapts better and satisfies each one's vision needs. When a person uses contact lenses, like in my case, I use both eyeglasses and contacts, we have two options. First, we can use multifocal contact lenses that are available in gas permeable or soft lens material, just like regular ones with the difference that the contact lens will have a transition between the two prescriptions just as my focus have. Or the second option is just to go to a pharmacy and get over the counter reading glasses, which I just explained before. Now that we understand more about this topic and I am about to conclude my chat, let's go over to what we have learned today. I'll explain to you guys the definition of presbyopia which is a visual problem that is caused by the natural aging process. I'll explain its causes, symptoms, signs, and lastly, I'll explain the most common and easy 
accessible treatment options. It is relevant for all of us to understand the importance of this natural aging process that will affect our vision. Eventually, we all, are, we all are going to get old and our vision will change. Finding the right treatment that better adapts to our vision needs is vital for our daily tax performances. I really hope this chat was informative to all of you. All the information I just gave to you was retrieved from a website called www.allaboutvision.com. Have a good day and thanks for attending.